So I've been made fun of, dragged through the dirt, and yelled at for never being able to decorate in this game, even though I'm a speedrunner. So I kind of wanted to just prove chat wrong and then do a decor speedrun where I have five hours starting from a fresh file to decorate a farm. And I think five hours is enough time because the rules are is if I craft anything that's like a large object, let's say a furnace, a chest, anything like that, I have to use it in the decoration. There's no getting around that. The reason I say big is because if I craft an extra pathway, I'm not going to place a random pathway. I'm just going to have a pathway graveyard in the tunnel afterwards. There's no point. But the overall goal is to at least decorate half of the farm and decorate the main farmhouse with it upgraded one tier, which is why I'm giving me five hours. And then also I'm starting from scratch. So it's going to take me like an hour or two to even get resources. So I think five hours is fine. The real question is what farm do I want to use? Well, top is probably the easiest to clear, to be honest. River is smaller. It is. But River is, funny enough, one of the only farms I've ever decorated. Monster sounds good too. Honestly, I'm kind of down for Wilderness. No one ever decorates it. I think Wilderness is, like, overlooked in terms of how it looks. It's kind of just annoying at the start. Alright, well, again, I have five hours to decorate the farm. And I, yeah, I have to use every big craftable. So I guess let's do this in three, two, one, go. We love loading the screens. See what we got here. We got a big ass pond in the middle. I, I'm not really acquainted with uh, this layout very much. We got this big ass pond and I'm pretty sure there's a river bottom left, right? Yeah, this farm's a little weird. Also, great job, CA. I didn't even realize this was possible. <laughs> I should have left it there. Honestly, wait, I want to leave that there. I think it's funny. <laughs> I'll reset the day for that. Well, I guess the first things first is we need to get resources. So, I mean, kind of the standard community center route with a little bit of extra steps, probably. I just want to get sprinklers up. I want to get a farming patch going. I want to get jars going. Uh, I kind of need a little bit of an open space. Again, I'm not allowed to delete anything, so I will be using basic sprinklers at the start here, and then I'm gonna have to incorporate them in my uh, decoration, which is uh, going to be interesting. It's the same thing with uh, <laughs> chess. I can't make like a chess monster. Otherwise, uh, that will be bad. I'm just gonna spend like the first day here removing stuff. We're gonna get a nice little chest going. I can move these chests later. I'm not too concerned about where they are. And then let us plant our parsnips. Pretty good. Wow, a day one fairy! I'm so lucky! It's not like this is a fucking waste of time! Wowee! It's not gonna hit the middle and I'm still gonna have to water half of it. Wow, I have to still go out and water three times. It's saving me so many waters. Actually, so useless. Stop complaining. I complain about everything in this game. Have you not watched this stream before? Okay, well, ideally, I'm able to basically fully clear off the farm. The other thing that I need to think about is what season do I want to end in? Because I'm going to have to pick a season to end in. I think by default, we're not going to end in winter or spring, ideally. I probably want to end in fall or summer. I'm probably going to year two. I think that's kind of a given. I think I'm going to... I think I am going to go to year two. It's just, where do I want to end? I might even go to year three if I want to end in a specific season. Summer has blueberries. Honestly, 
You're tempting me. <laughs> I'm questioning about whether or not doing this, like... Uh, I forgot to zoom out. Doing this early tree chopping is worth it. It's like, sure, I'm getting the use out of all my energy, but I'm 100% upgrading my axe and my pickaxe to get rid of the stone and boulders later on. Kind of thing. The bait. If a mod wants to do a pull, I'll do whatever. I don't care if it's fall or summer. I'm like half tempted to do fall just because it's uh, October already. Spooky season, so we can end with pumpkins or whatever. We're just preparing to go to uh, the mines on the 5th. Again, I'm just exerting all my energy so I can slowly start clearing the farm. My plan is to sleep a lot eventually. So if I don't want my farm to be like overrun by trees and debris, I kind of have to start clearing early for a landslide for fall. All right, we're doing fall then. Already, already 10 minutes in and I'm only day five. I mean, I guess this is why I gave myself five hours, but... And for those who are gonna complain about five hours is way too long. How about you try to do this in five hours and see how far you get? I think it's a reasonable amount of time because I'm starting from nothing and that's the main reason if I had a bunch of things then sure I'd rather think of like anything random that I can reasonably pick up that would be cool to pick up I feel like I should pick up at least one night market painting but I don't know which one would be the best leave the water rock alone he's beautiful the way he is so we do be in the mines. I'm just here to gather resources. I need resources for sprinklers. I need, well, I would like to get to the bottom of the mine so I can go to Skull Caverns and maybe get some Iridium. I think that would be cool to do something with. I don't really know what I can build with Iridium. Maybe I get a slime hutch and be quirky and cool and probably build the ugliest building in the game. Is the slime hutch like actually the ugliest building in the game? I really can't think of anyone worse. It's just the disgusting purple. Can you change its color yet? Or is it one of the buildings that you can't change the color of? <laughs> I think you can't change it. That's just sad. It just doesn't fit. I guess you can change other buildings to fit its color, but it's kind of made it's kind of hard to make like a royal purple to work, I feel. All right, so we're getting iron for basic sprinklers so we can actually get strawberries and uh, money going. And then I can actually start sleeping days. The start always takes a little bit to get going, but once you get going, you get going. Okay, chat. I know I'm going to do something irredeemable on this first visit to the egg festival. But I need money to be able to afford the flamingos later on. We will buy flamingos, chat. You're just gonna have to wait. We will buy them. I will go back. I'm getting strawberries, but I can't buy the flamingos yet. I'm too poor. They're 400 a piece. I know, I know. Blasphemy. But it has to be done. You know what, chat? To make it up for you, next time we'll even do the egg hunt. Uh, I mean, farming's just the best source of money, realistically, in this game in terms of speed running because you can just plant there once you have sprinklers you can just plant and then sleep days and it will be done if you know the number of days you have to sleep to so it's vastly superior you just have to do a lot of mining at the start to be able to get those sprinklers granted i didn't really do it quickly i'm kind of <laughs> i'm kind of just like playing the game casually or at least my version of casually casually i mean this is realistically is my casual this is me playing casually in a lot of ways. I know what I want to do, so I end up just doing generally the most efficient way of doing it. Quote unquote efficient. It's not perfect, but it's like what I think I should be doing. Not always executed the best. It's not always the absolute best idea, but it's what I think. Probably low key try to make it a goal to complete the greenhouse just so it's not ugly and just sitting there. Alright, so I still need to go into the mines at some point this season. I need to get to floor 120. I would like to complete the vault so I can at least go to the desert. And then I would also like to uh, eventually complete the 
pantry. A few ideas of how I want to do the farm. I think if we're doing Halloween theme, I definitely, and we're going to end in fall, I definitely think we should do a corn maze to a degree. Oh, yeah. And that's why I'm, like, somewhat scared of him. Like, I, I, I'm, like, low-key surprised he's releasing another game because of that. Because if your first game has so much success and then you release another game, everybody's going to compare it to your previous game, even if it's not, like, supposed to be comparable in a way. Like, it, the Haunted Chocolatier is not going to be Stardew Valley 2. It's going to be its own game. Own standalone game. It's going to have some elements and probably resemblance to Stardew, but it's going to be a different game. I th like based off of what we know right now it is definitely going to be a lot more combat focused so if you don't enjoy the mines in stardew valley haunted chocolatier is probably not going to be your game <laughs> straight up and you gotta know that going in you can't just be like oh this is gonna be stardew valley 2 i'm gonna have so much fun with it i hate the combat in stardew valley it's gonna suck I, I, I hope he removes it for Haunted Chocolatier. Literally makes it the focus for Haunted Chocolatier. Obviously, it's getting upgrades. Like, he's posted videos about, like, combos. Like, the primary swing's different. There's blocking. There's bow and arrow. It's going to be different. So, maybe it's just better and it would fit people. But it's, like, it's probably going to be more combat and explorer focused. Especially saying that there's bosses in the game now. So, it literally might not be people's games. I think I'm going to enjoy it because it's definitely my style of game. But... That's about it. Uh, with all this rant going on right now, I do have the skull key now. So I think you guys know what time it is. Ooh, all the town is here today. Nice Friday. I got to play progression, unfortunately. I'd rather play endless, but. So uh, fun fact, if you get really good at the first two stages of this game and you go fast enough, I think you have to beat the first two stages in under a minute. You skip the third stage, which means you don't have to do whale and just go to straight the ghost. Not bad. All right, well, I'll get you a card in the mail tomorrow. All right, quick seizure warning. arcade machine buggies uh now it's just a lot of sleeping ideally i'm like i'm start i have everything and i start decorating about an hour hour and a half so i need to i want to upgrade my axe today i want to sell all my gems and then i probably also want to buy a coop and i gotta rebuy the pumpkins i'll probably buy the yam and a piece of corn because I would like to get the greenhouse. Well, 1.6 is not going to be nearly as big as 1.5, so yeah, and also CA has help now. One point, I, I actually think 1.5 is the end of this being completely developed by one person. I'm pretty sure he had somebody help with the code for 1.5, and I know 1.6 he's getting help for the code. He's doing all the assets, though, and all the, like, design and, like, game. It's literally pure coding. The implementation. It's technically not a solo development game anymore, which is kind of funny. But everybody still calls it that because it, it originally was. And it... Let's be real. In our hearts, it is. Which, by the way, this is obviously not a knock to CA. Uh, it, it's smart. Like... It's smart to get help because then he can release more content for us. It doesn't matter if the game is solo developed or not. Let's be real. It doesn't change our opinions. <laughs> uh, I think the animals either go down here or down here. Um, I can move it later. You know, I'm just going to put it here for now. I just could walk around and like plan. Um, so it's like up here, I think, is where the pumpkin patch is going to be. Pumpkin patch idea. Just here. Have fun with it. Uh, I can make the corn maze over here, I guess, in this area. Or maybe the pumpkin patch goes over here. 
And then down here is like animals. Corn maze over here. You can have the orchard over here for grandpa. And then like the bee house is over here. I basically need something for like down here-ish. Probably the last part. All right, so the pumpkin patch is probably going up here. Uh, where do I want it to start though? Probably like here I think is fine. How wide can I make this? Uh, I feel like it can only go three down without it looking kind of meh. I think we'll have the middle free so we can actually put the uh, scarecrows. And then we can put like a few decor in there. Why am I hoeing this all out? <laughs> that looks pretty good. And then we have room to move. I can move the greenhouse somewhere if I really wanted to. Over here is just going to be the tree farm. I guess I can plant it. Get it to start growing to make sure it all grows in time. Maybe the apple orchard goes up here because it's where grandpa is. And then it doesn't have to be. Yeah, okay. I don't want it. I, it would have to be lined up for the way that I want to do it. I think I'll do the orchard down here instead. Or the tree farm. This makes more sense. I don't want to. I want to have the beehives and the... Well, I guess it can just be against the wall. Can I hoe against the wall here? No, but I can place stuff there. I guess these sprinklers can be in the unhoeable -ho spots. I have to make a few. And then the flowers go here. And then the bee houses go like one in front, maybe. And then we have like the trees down here. Something like that. Doesn't need to be the most gorgeous thing. You just gotta just gotta work with it. I just need to prove I can decorate. It doesn't need to be the most beautiful thing chat has ever seen, because uh, I'm not gonna be able to do that in five hours. I need to decide quickly and go with it. Give me the painting. Uh, I'll take a few log sections. They can look pretty good. Don't need the iridium fireplace. Be a few stone owls. Um. Oh, I'm poor. Oh, I thought I could buy more. Oh, I thought I could buy more. Oh, well, well apparently we're decorating with only those plants. Oh, no, I thought I could buy more. Oh, well. <laughs> it's fine. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. It might be a little repetitive, but it's fine. I'm probably not going to have enough money for everything I want, unfortunately. But I need the money for the catalog. Like, the catalog is, like, the bare minimum I need. I might have to skip out on the greenhouse. I mean, it would be fine if I slept an entire year. An entire another year. And just grew crops. If I want to go to year three. I don't think there's that much of a harm of going to year three. Year three will solve basically all my problems. I should probably go to year three. One hour later. Uh, alright. Uh, well, we're gonna make an orchard. I don't want it symmetrical, so I'm kind of just gonna plant these in cute spots i guess kind of do want like a pathway that i can make though but there now we have like a little ap apple orchard you because i'm a speedrunner and i'm very like rigid in that way you feel like i would be very symmetrical about my decorating style but i absolutely like i don't hate it but i think symmetric or er, symmetry is a bait in like designing a farm for stardew i think it should be somewhat like unsymmetrical and it looks better like it, it needs to be organized chaos it shouldn't be chaos. it shouldn't be chaos but it shouldn't be organized okay what floorings do i have i feel like cobblestone is just the best maybe i can do like an outline of the wooden floor or probably the straw floor i gotta go get that Probably an outline with a straw floor to, like, indicate the new area or whatever. 
I like the dark. I just don't, I don't want it to be too wide, I think. Yeah, that's fine. You gotta be, you gotta be fast about it. I don't have that much time. I need tappers on the maple trees because I need bee houses. Oh, maybe I do do this and then I put fences. I probably put fences here. I just gotta do it later because they'll just, de they'll deteriorate. Uh, well, let me outline other things. Maybe I... Ah, uh, no, nah, I kind of want it to be more wood or wooden. I think I'm going to really abuse these wooden paths, unfortunately. I don't really like them too much, but I just got to deal with it. They're a little chaotic, but it's fine. I kind of want a free-flowing farm with, like, different pathways you can take. I mostly want these to be, like, too wide, though. Like, down here, like, we can have the coop or whatever. Uh, yeah, the animals will be down here. We'll probably have, like, a pathway going through it. Uh, I gotta move that barn. Oh, that's the difficult. Like, this area is probably going to be the corn maze. We'll make it, like, this big or something. Might have to adjust. Uh, one less. And then I gotta figure out something here. And then we should be fine. I might have to skip out on the catalog. <laughs> I'll probably buy the wallpaper one so I can at least change my wallpapers. But I'm probably just going to have to use uh, furniture I buy from uh, Robin. <laughs> Rating two ducks just because they're cute. Oh, well, we're going to make it like an actual corn maze. You're going to be able to walk straight through it, but I don't want to put fences. I actually want to make it out of corn. And let's be real, you can always cheat a corn maze by going straight through the corn, right? <laughs> Who's not done that as a child? All right, we'll do gravel. Uh, we'll make like an entrance here and you gotta like wrap around here, go this way, down, around, we can go up the side, up around here. It's gonna be simple, all right? And then we'll put that in the middle. Gotta outline all this. I don't really care if it's double spaced. Very scary maze. Oh, I gotta do it fast, all right, chat. I'm sorry, but I can't spend that much time designing and planning a maze in a small little area on my farm. All right, uh, I want to put the jars over by the apple trees. I think that would actually be kind of cool because then you're making apple cider shit like that. I gotta put down a lot of pathways over here. Put the jars next to the apple trees or whatever. One for each tree, right? The one up there, because I have the extra one. Oh wait, I have to water this. Oh wait a minute. There's no sprinklers here. Wait a minute. I didn't even buy enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You just realized? Yeah. I did. Like, even if I only water these, like, straight, I don't think I have enough time. That's how long it will take to water this. It's 15 days. Corn is that bad. I'm gonna just decorate until time, and then we'll just sleep and water the rest of the few days. Because I'm not watering that in time. Sounds fair, sounds fair. Uh, any more bee houses? I'm just gonna have to start putting these fucking... <laughs> this shit around the place to liven it up a little bit. We're getting there, we're getting there. Let it cook, let it cook. 
I'm gonna need a save on wood. <laughs> this is how bad it's got. I'm gonna have to start fucking saving on wood. I can't be doing these extra wide. I'm, I'm fucking almost out of wood. I don't even have enough money for the cord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just, you know, the, the, <laughs> we'll just make a little exit right there so you can leave right away. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> you could add like a little statue right there. What does this look like? Oh, that's kind of cute. What does this look like? Getting kind of cute. What are these? What is our bush? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, I mean, we're just gonna sprinkle some of uh, this shit in. It's not gonna look, it's not gonna look the greatest, you know? And we're gonna have to make like a pathway up. I gotta clear some of the grass. It's too overwhelming. There needs to be like actual trees over here and that's the issue. I gotta plant trees and then like have them grow. Yo, what are you doing up here, bud? Slime's just casually on my porch. Destroy the greenhouse. I can't. No. This farm is mostly just missing trees. <laughs> we gotta cover it and then sleep a bunch of days and hope that they grow. All right, let's do the greenhouse and then I guess inside. And then we're gonna say it's done. All right, chat, we're gonna say it's done. And then I'm going to sleep until the end of the year so everything can grow up and then we'll take the screenshot. I'm also gonna water the corn maze. <laughs> yeah, yeah, end of fall, end of fall. I'll sleep until the 28th. I just want everything to grow. I just won't have enough time to sleep all the days for everything to grow. Finish adding the seeds with what fucking money? We'll just say so Vincent fucking went through the maze and ate the corn and now it's gone. Inflate all five hours. Yo, money is hard. Is your speed run? Uh... No, nah, no, nah, my, my decorating is going fine. I don't know what you're talking about. It's like not bad for five hours, I would argue, with zero prep. I'm banking on the grass to grow and fill out the blank areas, all right? That's kind of what I'm betting on here. <laughs> <laughs> the tappers aren't even finished. <laughs> oh, I'm just go. All right, I got four minutes for the interior design. Let's do this. Water corn. Ah, uh, I mean, it's the last day. We'll do that there. We'll have uh, uh, the TV is so weird. We'll have the fireplace there. Uh, lamp can go in the corner here. Uh, I think this table works better here. Dining, uh, I hate. Frog. It feels like everything has to go against the wall and it's kind of annoying. Honestly. I like that there better. I have a lamp in the corner. Over here, we can have like a few little garden pots at the bottom here. To, you know, flush arcade machine, turn the on, uh, make it look a little. I uh, have a nice little window over there. A uh, little. I wish the bed wasn't like that. A few little paintings. A broken window over here. I have the catalog. Wait, give me a second. I can I can do I can do this. I forgot I bought this. Give me this. Alright, what uh what furniture do we want? Uh background starry, nah, nah. Bit of cake. I want a darker theme. Oh, that's pretty good. That looks a little better. Goes with the flooring. I'm not gonna change the flooring. 
Um, I have like the little coffee table in front of it. I have like a little TV stand, I don't know, and then like a table there. Put down a few potted plants just to make it look a little nicer. That's the best we're gonna get <laughs> for the house. <laughs> Chests aren't moving. All right, I think that's the best we're gonna get. We got a minute left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it finished. Now, what we're gonna do since the timer is going over and I obviously haven't slept the last few days and I want the corn to grow up so it at least looks nice. I'm going to go out and water the corn every single day until it's grown. And then I'm gonna sleep until the end of the month so everything else grows up and then we're gonna look at it. All right, this is gonna take a little bit. All right, we're gonna wake up over here and just redo this. All right, this is the final decorated farm. We got a nice little house here. We got our little Junimo cart machine. We got a little bed, dresser, a little night area, some paintings, a little kitchen area. Not bad. It's not great. It's not terrible though, right? We go outside and we see this chaotic mess, but it's fine because we got a pumpkin patch, a cute little pumpkin patch over here. And look at Yogi. Let Logi Yogi distract you of all your uh, worries about this farm. Cute little pumpkin patch though. And we go over here, we got a nice little greenhouse guarded by some knights. Ooh, spooky, it's Halloween. And then we got our little apple orchard for grandpa where you can make uh, apple cider in these jars right here. Kinda cute. And we're gonna walk down here. It's like a little forest grassland area, a little pathway. Gotta walk through all the grass. And then this is where our honey is with all the cute roses in our tree farm. Don't ignore ignore these random trees in the way. There, uh, there's nothing wrong with these guys. And a little tree farm. Look, oh, yummy honey, fresh honey. And then we got our little water rock down here. He's just on a tile that you can't normally walk on. He's our little water wa water rock though. So he's a little cutie. We got our little corn maze here. You gotta, oh, you gotta go through. Don't get lost, but you gotta find the golden pumpkin. Ooh. And you can exit through the top there. You got a little mushrooms. And then this is where our uh, animals live. They're not doing a great job at like eating all the grass, but we got two ducks, two chickens, and a rabbit. And then we also got a cow up here. Not bad, it's pretty cute. Ignore the fact that he's not been fed for like a year, but he he's producing. That's our uh, little farm tour. We did this in about five hours. And uh, it's it, it, it pretty good for the resources that I had to do it in. That's giving me a two, two out of 10. I give it a coping amount of 10. Can we see inside the greenhouse, please? No, no, you can't. <laughs> the greenhouse is off limits. It's uh, it's under repairs. Huh. I, I'd get, I'd, honestly, honest review. I give it a four out of 10, below average. Not terrible, could be worse. It's got, it's got a few cute things going for it, but uh, there's a lot of dead space, let's be real. It's definitely good for a speedrunner, like you're okay, derogatory. <laughs> Not bad for five hours.